case not familiar with Death Road to Canada, you control a survivor and his buddy currently residing in Florida after the zombie apocalypse took place. They hear that Canada is the only safe nation remaining in the world, so they try to make their way all the way from Florida to Canada. Along the way, you can meet other survivors. These survivors can be familiar faces that you created in the custom characters menu or completely random strangers. So, yeah, that's the gist of it. Not that hard. All right, here we go. Chris hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Yeah, cool. Go to your Yalmar. Here we go. Left, whack you with that twice. Oh, that already broke. Are you salting my spaghettios? Well, that's never healthy. Gonna juke around the butcha. What do you feel when you get beamed? I almost took damage already. That's embarrassing. Ah, heck, I almost forgot. Uh, there are different stats that uh, control players' strength, speed, uh, morale, and different events that occur during the game can affect these. So for example, if uh, I were to stab Trevor in the back of the head, my morale would severely uh, increase, because I hate him. No, but in all actuality, uh, p people dying actually will lower the morale, uh, certain events will increase or decrease strength, fitness, uh, and this stuff determines like if you can use a heavy weapon, uh, how good your shooting is, if you're good at charming people, if you can steal things, and if you're good at stealing things. <laughs> oh, I'm such an asshole. The group spots an infested city from the road. Scouting it from afar, the group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. I think we should. Athletic store infested stronghold. Let's do it!